Okay, in this tutorial we're going to see how to write a subroutine in Perl, as well as how to use a hash, and how to use the slit function, and to do a for each uh, loop to print an array. We start by making a file. Subroutines are declared with the sub uh, keyword. To declare local variables, we use the keyword my. example we have the word here appearing three times hopefully we'll see that at the end and we'll do the hash and we count the words next we're going to create an array we're going to assign as the result of a split operation based on white non-white space sorry with the imports of the variable which is a line Next, we're going to do a for each loop. Store the value, the result in word of the line. Here. If the word count. allows us to access the key part of the hash. So if the key exists, then do word count of that key. That's plus. This basically says, look and see if the value in the hash exists. If it exists, augment the value. Else, if it doesn't exist, then create it. And set the value equal to 1. So that means that you've been seen only once. Now that ends the subroutine. Once we run the program, we'll see what it does. Back into our main and call the subroutine. So to call subroutine, we use the figure ampersand like that. Now let's run it. You can see no output. That's not a mistake. It's because we haven't actually made any output. So now let's create a, a print loop. Let's create um, a print uh, for a for loop. It will print out the hash. For each key, now this is going to be declared based on keys of the word count. Print the key. Print and the value, which is accessed through the key, and a uh, line break. Close our for loop, and now let's run. Now 
this case, what you can see is we have r once, space once, here three times, r once, r once, space twice, etc. So you can see that it is indeed working. Let's go back into the code and see where that is. So to start out with, we declare r ourselves. Um, In the main part of the script, we simply ran the uh, subroutine and had a print statement to print out the hash. In the subroutine, we had our a variable line which contains a string. We split that string based on non one space, so basically this. And for each uh, element in that array, we check to see if it was in the, the hash already by accessing the hash and the key to get to the value. So if the value exists, then we all went to the value. Else, we created the value and set it equal to 1 for that word. Now, there's lots of shortcuts in Go. That's because it's a highly powerful language, and it makes it easier to do things. But it does make it harder to read the code.